up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 mitsubishi mirage g4 courtesy of younger mitsubishi in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so yes it is downpouring today but that's okay wanted to check out this car because there are several changes for the 2024 model year one of them being you now get two years or 30,000 miles of complimentary maintenance so that's going to save you a little bit of money there you get great mpgs in this thing get america's best warranty being five years 60,000 mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100,000 miles on the powertrain you actually get a double powertrain warranty at younger Mitsubishi here in hagerstown which is valid nationwide so that's pretty cool and this thing also comes in at a very affordable price right around eighteen thousand dollars so you gotta love that as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the mirage g4 first one being the es which is the one we are actually in today starting at seventeen thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars which is a 550 dollar bump for the 2023 model year in case you were curious le for eighteen thousand four ninety five se for nineteen thousand five ninety five and lastly the be also known as the block edition going for nineteen thousand one hundred ninety five dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the mirage g4 is going to be the same powering this little beast is a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated inline three cylinder putting out 76 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 74 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,000 rpm power being set to the front wheels through a cvt zero to 60 time approximately 12.8 seconds we're going to give that a go a little bit later in this video but mpg numbers then coming in at 35 in the city 41 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel you gotta love that so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find this straight away let's put the acceleration here to the test in the rain keep that in mind and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 mirage g4 here up to speed all right here we go oh gosh <laughs> you know what we're leaving the car behind us in the dust but they're probably not trying <laughs> we're trying all right that's enough <laughs> that's enough i'm gonna let it go for a little bit uh it, it's slow it's definitely it's probably the slowest car in existence right now but having said that i guess the trade-off is you get really good mpgs and uh, as far as marching onto the highway goes it's one of those things where you learn how to drive the car the more you drive it so it's kind of like one of those things with visibility in sports cars you learn how to drive the car the more you drive it so Keep in mind, you're not gonna have that much power for merging onto the highway, so just either give it a little more time or whatever you need to do when it comes to those situations, but certainly not the quickest thing in the world. This is a three-cylinder engine after all, and it's not even turbocharged, so. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration is always braking is equally important. So you will find front disc rear drum brakes coming standard on the Mirage G4. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at 127 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, it actually leans a little bit more on the firmer side of things though. So I actually don't mind the feel to the braking. That number itself isn't the best of course, but the braking feel will actually do enough to get by so no issues there and i have seen as bad as 60 to zero and 139 feet so 127 that's perfectly fine it'll get the job done the touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back torsen beam rear axle as far as ride quality goes you do definitely tend to feel a little bit more on the road in this thing that is what this car essentially that's what you should expect so it's smaller wheels, smaller tires, and uh, it's a compact car. So yeah, you can feel a good bit. As far as road noise goes and cabin noise and all that fun stuff, again, you can hear a good bit, especially when you really get on the gas. The engine noise is pretty pronounced, but if you're a car guy or girl, that shouldn't bother you. And it, honestly, the engine noise doesn't bother me. I'm getting a lot of rain noise right now. So there is a lot of that coming into the cabin. But again, it might be something that might not bother you. As far as steering feel goes, it's 100% on the looser side of things. So wouldn't have minded if Mitsubishi kind of firmed up the steering feel a little bit in the Mirage G4. But other than that, it kind of feels like an SUV. I'll just put it that way. Touching our rear visibility, I actually can see perfectly fine out the back. So that's one thing that the Mitsubishi Mirage G4 definitely has going for it excellent visibility in this thing no issues there 
And one of the cool things about the Mirage D4 actually is rain sensing windshield wipers come on the LE trim level and up. So yes, that is new for the LE trim level specifically. So that is pretty cool. We have the bottom trim level, so we don't have that one, unfortunately. But essentially what that would do is when it starts raining out like it is right now, the windshield wipers are gonna automatically turn on. So it's just one less thing you gotta worry about, kind of like automatic headlights. So that's pretty cool as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 finished in graphite gray, which by the way, is one of two new colors for the 2024 Mirage G4, that and jet black. Those are the two new ones for this year. But let's go ahead and start with where the Mirage G4 is actually made, because this is actually interesting. Take a look at the VIN. First characters are ML indicating that the Mirage G4 is actually built and assembled in Thailand completely. Like it's not JDM, it's not made in Japan, it's made in Thailand. I think this is the only car in the US that is made in Thailand, so it's very interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Silver front grille will come standard on all trim levels, but the black edition, because the black edition is gonna give you red accents on that front grille, of course. To the sides, halogen headlights do come standard for all trim levels, but the SE. SE gives you full LED headlights with LED daytime running lights as well. But new for the LE trim level and also coming standard on the black edition and SE, you do get the automatic feature. That LE trim did not get that for the 2023 Mirage G4. So I want to emphasize that. And then fog lights will come standard on the black edition and the SE as well. But we've seen this look before, just like last year. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the Mirage G4, black window surrounds do come standard. Black side mirrors, of course, for the black edition trim body colored side mirrors however for all other trim levels of course you will get integrated turn signals in those side mirrors for the se trim level only otherwise you're going to get those turn signal indicators found on the front fenders which i actually prefer i love that for all trim levels but that se it's kind of a jdm thing like you see the old acura integras and the old honda civics they always put them on the front fenders so i love that look personally but take a look down at the wheel setup 14 inch steel wheels with covers coming on our es trim level that we have today 15 inch alloys for the le and se and then 15 inch black alloys for the black edition but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back here all the way to the top you will find kind of a uh, antenna up top there there is a rear spoiler that actually does come standard for all trim levels across the board so you gotta love that black rear spoiler though of course coming with the black edition trim LED taillights though, coming standard. You don't always find them in the compact segment. So for example, the Nissan Sentra still gets halogens as far as the rear taillights go. So I love seeing LEDs in the back, extra illumination at night. Of course, you got that massive G4 badging found in the rear trunk. So that is certainly pretty cool to see. You will find, I'm gonna call it a mild rear diffuser at the very bottom there. So nothing crazy, but to the side there on the passenger side, you will find a single exhaust outlet tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Mirage G4 here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it is going to be a manual trunk, obviously. There is actually a uh, key slot on the trunk itself, so that's the way I opened it up. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 12.4 cubic feet. The rear seats do not fold down, unfortunately, but there is a pass-through, so I did want to emphasize that. So at least you got that there. There is a cargo light back there, of course, and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a spare tire, but there's a good bit of kind of storage surround that spare tire more than I'm used to seeing so you could probably put an ice scraper back there if you wanted to as well and so but then making our way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 37.3 inches for reference I mean even six feet tall this is how much space I had in that second row there rear center armrest with cup holders actually to my surprise come standard on every single trim level across the board so gotta love that of course there's no rear air vents no other compact cars actually get that either so no worries there but no charging ports there either but then make our way up to the front seats manually adjust 
adjustable claw seats do come standard for all trim levels across the board. However, new for the LE trim level and up is going to be a driver's seat center armrest. That didn't come standard on the 2023 and we don't have it with us here today, unfortunately. But that is another new thing for 2024. Heated front seats coming with the SE trim level only. As far as seat comfort goes, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. I feel like they've been worse when I've tested them out before. Maybe it was just the hatch version, but these actually aren't that bad. I feel like they're padded pretty well. So my personal opinion, no issues there. But as far as the steering wheel goes, it is not telescoping. It is tilt. So it doesn't actually come towards you. It just goes up and down. So leather wrapped coming with the BE and the SE trims. Then you're going to get red stitching for that BE, aka black edition trim level as well. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key you got your Mitsubishi logo on the one side when you flip it over lock unlock it is a pretty basic key it's going to be a push button start for the SE otherwise you're going to get a turnkey start so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and turn the key and so when it comes to the gauges gauges uh tachometers all the way to your left speedometer is front and center of course there is a trip a trip b at the very bottom there a fuel indicator as well um i just turned the lights on here and everything is kind of illuminated in this red orange hue so i don't mind that so i'll let you guys see that since it's a dark enough day to actually see that but overall gauges are pretty much on the basic side of things there but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality here automatic climate control will come standard on all trim levels across the board that's really the highlight as far as interior quality goes honestly and that's pretty cool because not every uh competitor will get that so i do like that just in front of the shifter you got a little bit of storage there there is a usb charging port there a couple cup holders and behind the shifter you do have one cup holder and again the center armrest for the le trim level and up it is optional for the es we don't have that option unfortunately so when i was actually driving because of that i didn't have any armrest for my right elbow and then my left elbow was sitting on hard plastic so it's another thing with the interior quality you're sitting your elbows on hard plastic there's no sort of padding or any kind of covering or anything like that so wouldn't have minded if they actually put some padding there because if you're going on a long road trip these elbow rests are definitely going to be something that may or may not bother you i'll just put it that way but here's some of the positives so let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen because i really really liked it first off it is super bright. It is a seven inch color touchscreen display and it is super responsive. Probably the most responsive infotainment screen that I have seen in quite a while. You hit a button, it instantly goes there. There's no sort of lag or delay whatsoever. So the Mirage does that better than most other competitors, if not all of them. So do like that. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. So it definitely also liked that. Of course, you can check out your radio information up there as well. And so when it comes to the sound system, there is one of them. It is just four speakers that come standard on all trim levels across the board. Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, for one, I had that basically all the way cranked up. It's not that loud of a sound system. That's the first thing. Of course, clarity is not going to be the best. By the way, that was FM radio. I'm sure if I had this thing hooked up to my phone via Bluetooth, it would have been a little more clear. But still, having said that, clarity wasn't the best. Not a ton of bass whatsoever. So probably one of the most basic sound systems that are available today. But... Back to one of the pluses. When you do put the Mirage G4 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. And it's not just a basic rear view camera, it's pretty high definition, like more so than most Toyotas. I'll put it that way. Although there's a lot of water on it right now, unfortunately, because it's raining out. But it is a very high definition rear view camera. Just take my word for it, which is always, is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, a forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian detection and hill start assist then as well. Then if you were to go with the SE, you're also going to get lane departure warnings to go along with all of that. So. Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, great gas mileage. You gotta love it. 41 miles per gallon on the highway. America's best warranty plus a double powertrain warranty at Younger Mitsubishi if you wanted to get it here. So that's definitely plenty of value there. You'll also now get two years or 30,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. That's also gonna save you some money. And it's extremely affordable. Like this one that we're in today starts at under $18,000. You can't find that in today's inflation. I'm telling you guys, it's incredible for a brand new car 
LED taillights come standard in the back, so that's a safety feature in itself. As far as room for improvement goes, it is incredibly slow. I'm gonna emphasize that real quick. You, get, you do get a very basic sound system as well. And quite honestly, there isn't a heck of a lot of advanced safety that comes standard when you look at some of its competitors at least, so there's that as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new Mirage G4 in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanna see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here in this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.